Welcome to my review of the APC 1100 VA Uninterruptible Power Supply or UPS. Before we get started, I wanted to ask you to please click the like and subscribe buttons below as it really does help me out as a small chat. So today we are looking at a UPS, and before we get started, I wanted to explain what a UPS does. Essentially, it takes the power from the wall and then uses that to charge up a battery. It then takes that battery and uses it to power the equipment further down the line that you plug into it. This essentially makes it so that even if the power goes out or there is some power surge, the equipment that you plug into the UPS is protected from them. This also allows you to run the equipment even when the power to your house is out. This can easily be visualized with a bucket of water. Think of the water inside it as the stored energy. You can see the water coming in representing the power coming from the wall, and then when you plug something into it, you pull some of that water out to use the device. This is how it works, but the two main advantages of a UPS, the ability to run equipment even when your house power is out, and the protection of your equipment from brownouts and power surges are very helpful. This APC UPS does a great job of both of these things. And before we get into the technical specs, let's first start out with a physical overview of the unit. On the front, you'll find the main display of the unit. This gives you a wide variety of information, such as the current charge amount, the load, the quality of the input power, and the estimated amount of battery runtime. This sort of known is a ton of information, but you can get more out of it with the included software, but we'll get more into that later. There is also a handy mute button, which is nice, as without it, this thing beeps incredibly loud at anything that happens. But some people may prefer this audible reminder, so it just depends on who you are. Moving below this screen, you'll see the USB-A and USB-C charging ports. These are very nice and have a massive 3 amps of power at 5 volts, so it should be able to fast charge anything you throw at it. Moving on to the sides, they are pretty standard, with one of them opening up to allow you to swap the battery after it wears out, which is nice, so you don't have to buy a whole new unit every time the battery gets worn out. On the back is where the main functionality of the unit will be found. Working from the top to the bottom, we first start with an Ethernet pass-through, which allows you to protect your computer from voltage spikes over Ethernet. This is a nice feature, but it's only rated at gigabit speed, so if you're running a 10 gigabit switch, this will severely limit your speeds. Moving on, we get to the data port. This is compatible with the included data cable, which allows your unit to connect to your computer for all of the smart features that it comes with. Below this is the cable pass-through, which pretty much acts the same as the ethernet pass-through. It doesn't actually change the signal, it just protects the equipment downstream from receiving voltage spikes. To the right of this is the TVSS ground connector, which allows you to physically ground your unit. There is also an indicator light which will activate if the unit believes that the wiring fault is somewhere in your building and causing an issue for the unit. This brings us to the main power terminals on the back of the unit that the device provides power through. There are six of them that have battery backup and four of them that only provide protection against surges. In total, the battery can provide 600 watts when running without mains power, however it will only be able to do this for a short period of time. With a normal load, it will probably be able to run for about 30 minutes, however, it depends on how much power you are drawing from it. It is because of this that the unit includes software that communicates with the computer. That's what the data port is for. It allows the connected computer to actively manage the UPS. The computer does this through a program called PowerShoot. It's very easy to install and has a variety of features. Its main purpose is to automatically save all open files and then shut the computer down in a situation in which there is no mains power and the battery is becoming depleted. It allows you to select the power point at which this will happen, which is nice. That's not all though. The software allows you to do all sorts of other analysis on the power usage you use, such as showing comparisons to how much power you used could have been used for other things, or giving you an estimated cost for how much you have spent on power for your computer alone. It also has a very nice self-test switch, which is nice if you think that your unit may be broken but are not sure. These are all very nice features and are nice to have in comparison to the basic menu that they could have provided. Overall, I would say that I couldn't be happier with the software. It's very informative, but also very lightweight, and I can't think of anything I would want to add. As for the rest of the unit, I feel pretty much the same way. It is very feature-rich and feels very high quality. I've had great experiences with products from APC in the past, and I would expect nothing less than for this one as well. It is incredibly easy to use, and the production it offers is incredibly reassuring. The warranty covers the unit for three years, and any damage that comes to the devices you plug into it due to its failing, APC will cover up to $250,000, which I believe shows they have confidence in the product they created. I couldn't be any happier with it, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who is in the market for a UPS. I finally decided to pull the trick to pick one up, and I couldn't be happier. After a friend's computer ended up dying due to a lightning strike, I realized I definitely needed one. I'm not trying to fear monger or anything, but I just figured it was worth pointing out that things like this do happen, and it's way better to spend $100 or so picking up a UPS than to lose thousands in equipment. 
Thank you all for watching and if you could like this video and subscribe I'd really appreciate it as I'm a small channel and every bit helps. Thank you again.